Hi, Boo Boo. So coming at you with an emergency video for this one. Clench your butt cheeks because a few days ago, you probably remember, right? The walkies are mad once again. I gotta show you a video. Like the video if you think there are two genders. Just like the video if you think there are more than 5,000 genders. Yeah. But a few days ago, a woke journalist from IGN came out and said that if you play this game and you're a female, you're gonna self-delete yourself, right? Yeah. And he said that if male gamers play this, they're gonna end up beating their wife up. Absolute just wild stuff out there, right? <laughs> most gamers they don't have a wife okay most gamers don't have it if you have it you're a rare guy okay you're a rare species this is what gamers are doing right now one of my twitch subs she says bought me the ps5 and three 390s kind of sad actually but like uh, man came out absolute co a comedy motherfucker did all that to be called one of my twitch subs <laughs> This is what gamers are doing right now! This is what gamers are doing right now! They're wasting money on these OnlyFans chicks, on these Twitch streamers out there. They're not beating them up or anything. What are we talking about? But guys, uh, wait for the climax. Roll it. Whether it's Twitter users or game journalists has been the target of virtue signaling because people are outraged mainly over the design of the main protagonist yeah. of this franchise, Eve. Now, of course, uh -oh. there's been a lot of comparisons between Eve from Stellar Blade and Tubi from Nier Autonoma, and a lot of people have been trying to attack Stellar Blade in comparison. We've seen viral tweets like this saying, was Nier Autonoma's release like this, where everyone was like, huh, take that, nerds, this one is for the straights. I feel like most people were chill and just played the game, which was both yeah. sexy and fun and cleverly written, which was not the case. People were being called incels and attacked for enjoying Tubi's design way back when Nier initially released, and that is something people are trying to rewrite. We've also seen people call this soulless gooner bait when it is compared to Nier and Bayonetta. And of course, all this is extremely ironic if you know the relationship between the creators of Stellar Blade and Nier, and that has been once again reinforced by this article, where you can see the title here saying, Nier Autonoma director Yoko Taro says he thinks Stellar Blade is much better than his game, but Stellar yeah. Blade's director says he feels Autonoma is superior. Uh -oh. Very wholesome stuff, and you can uh -oh. see uh, there's definitely going to be some collabs between these franchises, and the creators are clearly very respectful of one another, get along very well, and respect yeah. each other's products very highly, despite whatever Twitter is trying to say. Yeah, now, they're saying if you play this game, you're going to end up beating your wife up. Like, bro, like, who... <laughs> Who says that? And apparently that guy, uh, so delusional. First of all, I don't think that that was a man, apparently. Yeah. But, but like, okay, yeah, fair. Says that if a female plays it, she's gonna self-delete. Like, what are we talking about? Dog, it's just a game. It's just a game. Uh, but As I mentioned it. earlier in the video, we're gonna be looking at an article today that is absolutely hilarious. You can see the... Now, as I mentioned earlier in this video, we're going to be looking at an article about Stellar Blade that is a knee slapper. So you can see the headline here. It speaks for itself. It says, What's behind the controversy around the upcoming PlayStation 5 exclusive Stellar Blade? Izzy Von Der Velde dives into the game's sex appeal, uh -oh. orientalism, and whether it panders to the male yeah. gaze. That's male a lot gaze. of buzzwords, by the yeah, way. Yeah, ba basically, this is what we want for the male gaze, guys. <laughs> Yo, okay, listen, no disrespect, okay? No disrespect to people that actually are fat in real life. No disrespect. Even my best friend, I know I'm playing that card. My best friend is that. No, honestly, my best friend, who I consider brother, uh, he also is fat. And uh, fat people have a soft heart. Uh, absolutely, I agree with that. Bruh. But, but, but like, damn, homie, can a brother perhaps not get to see this type of character all the time in game? Because, like, if there's an attractive character, uh, uh, at least it's gonna inspire somebody to work out maybe, right? Working out is apparently good for health. I know they don't want you to believe that. Bruh. You know, they, they they want you hooked on McDonald's, Taco Bell 24-7, on fast foods all the time. They don't want you working out. They, don't, they want you miserable. They don't want you being happy. And now all of this crap is coming to video games as well because they realize video games, uh, video games are the biggest form of entertainment out there. So they're going to use it to kind of like brainwash people, indoctrinate with their woke bullcrap ideologies. Yeah, never work out, guys. Don't work out. Working out is bad for you. Being slim is bad for you. Being attractive is bad for you. Like, what the hell are we talking about, bro? Like, right. But a lot of people are talking about this article. Inspire the youth. Inspire the youth. Right now, mainly making fun of its outrageous claims. And before we get into this absolute Like the video if you agree. Blop, I want to give you guys a palate cleanser. Something that you can enjoy. A delicious couple of meals, perhaps, thanks to the sponsor of today's yeah! video. Welcome back guys. So here's the article titled Stellar Blade and the Male Gaze and it asks the question attractive 
to who? Now feel free to give your answer to that in the comment section, but let's start this article. It goes, Stellar Blade, the upcoming sci-fi action RPG from Korean studio Shift Up, has been thrust into the center of video game culture wars that seem as old as gaming itself. The fight can yeah. be seen most clearly of late in the vocal pushback against narrative consulting company Sweet Baby Inc. Yep. for pushing to have We love Sweet Baby Inc. Absolutely. <laughs> Obviously, I'm joking around, guys. Uh, <laughs> you know, for, for two people that might not get the sarcasm. Yeah, bro, we love it. Sweet Baby Inc. Absolutely. Yeah, go Queens. All right, Sweet Baby Inc. Or diverse love. female characters. A select few Steam yeah. and Twitter users are now up in arms. Now, these vocal few are praising the buxom and bouncy protagonist of Stellar Blade, Eve, they say, evokes a time they miss when women in games used to be titillating and attractive. She caters to the so-called male gaze. Uh -oh. Now, you can see what they're saying uh -oh. here. This is a strategy they do throughout uh -oh. this article where they try to say, gamers hate X, but like X sometimes because of reason Y. And that's what they're doing with female characters. They're trying to claim that gamers hate female characters, but like Stellar Blade because of the male gaze. It's an outrageous claim, and it's just as outrageous as the way they frame the Sweet Baby Inc. controversy. They say that the only reason people are mad at Sweet Baby Inc. is for pushing for more diverse female characters, which is not Bruh. what they're doing. They're injecting Bruh. an entire woke agenda into games that is clearly lowering the quality of these games as they crash yeah. and burn in yeah. sales, and a lot of people have created and follow these curation lists to a avoid bad products with forced agenda in them. Clearly, mm. people are okay with female characters being in yeah. games. Stellar yeah. Blade, for example. But people don't want to deal with the nonsense that comes with Sweet Baby Inc. and their employees. Much yeah, like... Yeah, people just don't want, like, female characters being manly boss queens. Okay, yeah, I mean, if the if the story kind of makes sense, okay, we can have a character that's, like, boss queen, city girl, whatever. But, like, if you're gonna have a female character, make her a female character. You know what I mean? Like, make her a female character. We don't want, like, female characters to be, like, dudes. Uh, you, you feel what I'm saying? Like, dudes in, like, male... Uh, like, dudes in female dressing. This is a dude. This is not a female. This is disrespectful. This should be disrespect to, disrespectful to the, the females out there, right? Like, y'all sickers want... Uh, y'all females want your representation. This is not your representation. You still getting dudes out there that are overtaking you, that are beating you, and are being better at being you, uh, bet being better at becoming females. Is that what you want? Bruh. I don't think you want that. I think you guys uh, also want your representation, right? We're strong, independent. No, I'm strong, independent. Like, get out of it. Get out with that bull squash out there. But you can have a strong real actually you know a good and strong female narrative uh female protagonist i should say for the story we can also have the strong male leads as well like stop emasculating men characters stop like uh masculinization i, I don't want to see like masculinization of the the female character like we don't want that that's simple as that bro simple as that like the employee who started this entire situation with the harassment campaign they launched against cabrutus for making the curation list this behavior also told people to avoid Sweet Baby Inc. because who would want to buy a product or trust a product that was touched upon by someone who has such a disdain for gamers? That's why those curation lists and exist in the gamers, first place. Yeah. But continuing on, they talk about the male gaze. So they get a little historical uh -oh. here saying, an academic term coined by the film theorist Laura Mulvey in 1973, the male gaze is often portrayed as seeing a scantily clad woman on screen being bad. Now, it's kind of a mistake to get into this historical definition because this definition right here it's kind of confusing when it's applied to Eve from Stellar Blade. You know, if you, you take the language of it, and really it's strange towards any female video game character, yeah, but they, they continue on down here saying developer shift up appears to be leaning into the male gaze heavily. heavily on its Twitter account yeah. and in interviews, it has been sure to draw close attention to the fact that Eve's body is taken from scans of a Korean model. Yeah. And this is the justified choice of a body model. Okay, I, I thought it says that game director Kim Jong-un though. Okay, now it says, okay, it's the, the, the real name, my bad. Yeah. Holy crap, oh my god. I thought they said Kim Jong-un there, bro. Oh, and they claim we wanted to come up with the most attractive looking body for the user. PlayStation's promotional material has backed this, back up, this up with Yay, Instagram trailers yeah. focusing on revealing outfits. On the revealing outfits, players can dress Eve up in. Shift Up did not return a request for comment. I can't believe Shift Up did not return your request for comment. I cannot believe they would turn down game journalists trying to slander and attack their products. But anyways, we see this whole focus on the male gaze. And yes, the main protagonist was made from a 3D scan of a Korean model. We know this, and a lot of people appreciate this. And we also know that the Stellar Blade devs have been leaning into the yep. fan service aspect of this game. And I ask you in response, what is the issue? How is this hurting women? We've seen some IGN 
authors try to claim yeah. this is oh, no. literally killing women as a result of, you know... They dead ass said that, which is shocker. Most people are not bringing this up, but the guy also said that, like, most people are gonna play this game and also gonna end up beating up their wives. Bro, like, what are we talking about, bro? Ain't nobody beating their wife up because of Stellar Blade, bro. Like, come on, bro. Like, what are we talking here, bro? Like attractive characters like this existing but i really want to know how this is hurting women especially when and women as we get down to the main event guys if you're brand new it would be a pleasure to have you on the channel like and subscribe and also consider becoming a member on the channel by clicking the join button next to the subscribe button it would help out a ton and uh, it would help uh, greatly support the channel shout out to all the members out there shout out to all of you that are actually members on the channel all right let's go back to the content now boo boo men are enjoying this design and this game as much as men are now going forward it says this denny points out that this is textbook male gaze attractive to who asked denny to what gender what sexuality what nationality a lot in that choice is, is assuming a lot of things about who the developers think the player is going to be now they asked this at the beginning of the article and of course in true clickbait fashion they wait until the end of the article to answer this so let's skip ahead and get their answer the okay. truth is a lot of people men women non-binary straight queer find eve attractive wow who would have thought bumble club <laughs> Yeah, like, uh, dog, like, why? Why? Just make, like, a decent-looking chick, and she's a decent- I, I mean, yeah, she's more than a decent-looking chick, let me just be real. But, like, make a female character be a female character. Easy! Simple as that. Make men- men characters be men, okay? Make female characters be female! Why mix the two, bro? Like, it's easy. Like, what we talking about? And I I've been reading some arguments. Some suckers are also saying that, nah, bro, you just want a female character uh, because you want, like, that whole lot of hub stuff. You want to undress. Bro, what the actual F? Oh, shit. Like, what? What the actual crap? Bro, not everybody want to have a real female character because they want to undress. We, we have hub for that, okay? It's not about that. Yeah, sure, like, there are gonna be some people that love those kind of mods and all that. Okay, whatever, right? It's not about that. This is not even about that. Because I've been reading some comments and some people are like, Nah, bro, like, you just wanna undress the female characters. You just want the, the P-Hub content in the games. Bro, it's, it ain't even about that, bruh. How delusional you gotta be to think that's what people are being mad about or asking about, right? People just don't wanna be shoved woke ideologies, woke identities, identity politics, or any sort of politics in their games. They just wanna play games and chill out, right? Simple as that. And they just want a female character be female and male character be male. But these gentlemen, these don't wanna yes, believe that. Everyone enjoys Eve. That is not a shock to anyone who is not a game journalist. However, they wanna spin this to somehow still attack men who enjoy this character so they say however the way stellar blade is being men marketed men. is drawing in the new gamergate 2 crowd and eve is being used as a cudgel by which to bash other feminist protagonists and even women journalists like kotaku's Alyssa oh, Mercante, yeah. Merchant. <laughs> Mercantilism, we still don't know how to pronounce her name, it's fine. But anyways, Damn. this idea that now people are bashing female protagonists in games. Proof. Nobody's going around and bashing Tubi, or Bayonetta, or Samus, or these other characters. Jones. Nobody's doing that. They're making this up. And then... Yep, yep. But, you know, if you're gonna have one desperate claim, you might as well add in another one. And this is the Orientalism claim that this article is making. So it says, oh, no. There's also a peculiar type of Orientalism surrounding Stellar Blade. Some are oh, holding up Stellar Blade as an antidote to woke Western games. And many people commented they'd be purchasing a Japanese version of Stellar Blade to secure access to the region-exclusive Japanese dub, despite it being a Korean game with a Korean dub. Is it because that's difficult to get a hold of, so you're a bigger gamer or fan if you can demonstrate that you've gone the extra length to get that version? Is it because there's a particular respect for Japanese voice cast? That might be part of these generous readings, or is it because actually Korean femininity doesn't have the connotation for Western colonial imagination that Japanese femininity does? It's almost like in order to fulfill the fantasy of puppeteering this attractive woman and putting her in certain outfits and placing the camera just right, she needs to be Japanese. Holy moly, what a fanfic that is. So, first of all, if someone wants to buy this with the Japanese dub, I don't really understand what the problem is in the first place. That, that seems yeah, like a reach like, to think that's a problem. But bruh. this section right here is so unhinged. If you think someone is operating on Orientalism... Oh man, just uh, watching you read this, uh, all of a sudden my brain cells are now fighting each other, bro. 
<laughs> my brain cells are right now fighting each other. Stop fighting, brain cells. Stop fighting each other, okay? No, don't fight each other. I need you right now. I need you. Stop fighting. Stop fighting. That's friendly fire. Don't do it. They would just buy the Korean version. Uh, what do you mean? Now we're like power scaling these Asian cultures in terms of how much Orientalism is being attached to them by people in the West. It's so strange. And you have to go to these crazy lengths to try to make these claims. And it's really, it's just like, I don't know what to say sometimes. These, like, it's crazy. Uh, on the one hand, Stellar Blade is going to kill women. On the other hand, it's promoting uh, the male yeah. gaze. On the other hand, it's promoting Orientalism. Like, what else yeah, is it? Yeah, and on the other hand, it also is promoting that if you don't have a wife, but later on, if you decide to have a wife and you play this game, you're going to beat your wife up. Like, damn, homie. What are going to do? Is it poisoning like, our food supply? Like, what else can you damn, possibly homie. claim about this game that just has an damn, attractive bro. female lead? It's, well, coming, it's coming out very soon, right? When is it coming out? I believe it's coming out this month, right? Uh, yay. Uh-oh. Oh, it's coming out this month. It's coming out. Yo, I'm excited for the game, bro. And, and here's the thing. I don't think that I was gonna get this game. I remember like two, three months ago or whenever they revealed its first gameplay, right? It did look good, though. Let me, let me tell you that. It did look good. But I was never like I'm gonna buy the game, right? And because of all this controversy uh, and the woke and the non woke stuff and crap like that, I decided to download a demo and shout out to them for having a demo for free, right? And that demo is like, damn, like, damn. I, I thought that the demo is gonna be like for 10 minutes. Bro, like, these suckers actually provided a real demo, though. A real demo. So you play that with the, the, the anime. Weeb, I'm not even a weeb, I don't even watch anime, okay? And I gotta admit, any weeb watching, let me know. I'm not a weeb, I'm not an anime fan. I played the game, bro. Like, the anime music in the background, bro, let me tell you, bro. I was, it, it was fire, bro. It was fire. It was uh, very, very good as well. Gameplay was good. The only thing that uh, maybe I have to learn it, maybe I didn't find it, uh, is that the only thing I disliked was the... It, it was kind of a little bit slow, right? I wish the dodge were kind of fast. Like, it, it felt kind of... It, it has the soul kind of vibe. Maybe that's why. But, but you know what I mean, right? Maybe there's a way to dodge a little bit quicker. Maybe in the game you're going to have upgrades and all that so you can dodge a little bit quicker. So that's like my only criticism about it. I played it, loved it, and now I'm like debating like, sheesh man i gotta i gotta buy the game man i gotta buy the game bro i'm gonna say this statistics show this isn't true as of 2023 about uh 50 of people who play games are women shift up assuming an audience of men and leaning into nah, the male bro. gaze so explicitly is in essence a marketing I, okay i kind of believe in the 50 percent of uh but, but this is uh misleading right i do believe that yeah 50 percent i i would like to believe that 50 percent of them would play but probably not the games that men play right like i don't think 50 percent of females are playing call of duty it would be more like like 10 20 maybe maybe you're right I, I don't have the numbers so i'm gonna let you know straight up i, I don't know how many they play but 50 percent now bro like come on now they, they would be playing like mobile games like candy crush <laughs> maybe valorant valorant yeah a lot of uh, females do play valorant as well so yeah g games like that there are like ah, e -O -E. there are games like that that appeal more to women and they play that nothing wrong with that nothing wrong with that there are games that appeal to men and there are games that appeal to females Nothing wrong with that, but uh, I, I think this is misleading. Being moved that purposefully others a huge number of potential players, which is very odd. If the producers want to create video games that are only intended for male audiences, it's really unwise because they are alienating a huge demographic. Here's the crazy thing. They admitted in the same article that all types of people enjoy Eve from Stellar Blade. So what are they yapping about here? And also targeting 50% of the market, even if this claim is true, that's a pretty big part of the market. And again, yeah. this is once again trying to claim that women could not enjoy this character. Trust me, when it comes to the male gaze of Eve, a lot of women are gazing at this character too. They like it too. It is so mind-blowing to these journalists that women enjoy these designs too. But that's something that's been common among game journalists for a long time now. But here's the end of the article. It says, Denny thinks game companies could stand to expand their horizons when it comes to attraction rather than just catering to the male gaze and creating hourglass figures and jiggly bits. Uh -oh. Why not consider uh -oh. the muscle mommies, the dad bods, disabled people? Greater representation in body types doesn't have to mean less attractive. Yeah, guys, Stellar Blade is really wrong in appealing to the male gaze by focusing on having an attractive body on its main protagonist. So let's solve that by having some more muscle mommies. Do you hear yourself? Yeah, I, I mean, they want this kind of muscle mommy, though, you know? <laughs> <laughs> this is not muscle mommy, bro. This is a... Uh, 
Uh, all that fat reserve just popping out the uh, type of mommy here, bruh. Guys, like, it is Joe over, bro. Like, I don't understand, like, how are these suckers are this incompetent. Like, how? I don't understand. And recently, Dr. Disrespect kind of went crazy against this war culture and he, and he got banned. You wanna know what he said? You wanna know what's going on? Check out this video on the screen. On the left, this video is on my second channel. Check out both of these videos and I will see you right there.